Yo, we back at it. Uh, about a week later. Um, so pretty much, hey, uh, what we're gonna be doing today is I'm definitely gonna be getting the um, the headers off. Um, getting the uh, you know disconnected from the exhaust and shit. You know, I'm just pretty much you know organizing, setting all this shit up, getting a table in here, setting up the battery stations for the batteries. I'm gonna be organizing and cleaning up. You know most of the mess that was made last week um and just pretty much um and then lay out um the uh the next pipings and uh bolts and you know shit of that nature that is needed um for the next part so i'm gonna be laying out all that shit cleaning and organizing um cleaning and organizing organize whatever so pretty sure i'm not gonna bore y'all with all that i'll just go ahead and uh cut back in when I'm dealing with this shit because I know I'm going to boss some uh, spray to loosen up the bolts. I'm going to go ahead and spray that shit on and, you know, and then also sometime today, get to cleaning all this dirty shit, get some warm water and soap, some rags and really start trying to clean uh, most of this shit up. These wires, I don't know. Um, I'm going to have to really, like, look at this shit to see what doesn't need to be there what needs to be there what could go what could stay um because i think uh, once upon a time i believe i was told there was an alarm system on here and it got yanked out so i don't know that's most of the the wire headaches right now but i definitely want to just start cleaning just you know all the dirt and shit around the engine bay at least make it look presentable and all that shit so i'll go ahead and uh cut back in once most of that is uh done all right, I'm coming in with a big update. So took ended up having to take the wheels off. Uh, took the the weather lining, that plastic shit off. Also, I just laid out um, the setup right here, just to you know, cause that's what I plan on doing. Um, did it on both sides. It took me a while because this this screw that was in here. Uh, they're so dirty and old it fucking strips so I had to like literally break the shit off by fucking screwing into wow that looks fucked um by like just screwing into it with the the drill and just break it off so um I gotta go ahead and get some warm water and soap and some rags going and start cleaning this shit up I already soaked up the bolts I'm gonna break them shits loose in the sensors and uh go ahead and uh, remove the headers I should should I pop off the caps nah fuck it we're gonna get right onto the headers and take this shit off so man it's like too many hours later um I got the uh, driver's side uh, header off because I was sitting here uh, fighting the exhaust trying to get it off the hanger I was like damn I didn't want to deal with the bolts with these shits and where they were at because they were like mad awkward and then i'm like man let me just go ahead and just take off the whole h pipe system and then i'm like you know then i'm fighting with the hangers for too long and i'm like bro what the fuck man i can't i can't win for losing dog so i finally got it off but um and i decided to go ahead and uh try to start seeing if i could test fit this shit and yeah so that shit is actually kicking my ass so for some reason it's just uh it's not uh it's not it's not working it's um i don't know if i'm coming in at the wrong angle or if i should try to just bring it up through here from the bottom uh i don't know and i jam i just jam my thumb peeling this shit off a little bit <clears throat> But I'm over here trying to fucking figure out what the hell is going on. Why this shit isn't fitting. So I'm probably going to have to go and uh, watch a couple videos and shit. Ow, yeah, my thumb. Um, just to see, like, what what the hell is uh, going on. Um, but, yeah, that's the progress so far. I'm probably just going to move on and take off the, um, the passenger side header, like I said. And then just keep it pushing from there. Like I said, I just messed up my thumb, so... But yeah, and let's see what's going on. So once I hopefully get to test fit the headers, I'll go ahead and I'll come back with that. And the cleaning is probably looking like a dub. Probably going to have to clean up, do the cleaning tomorrow or something. I know it's not really a priority, but 
it's just more or less for the OCD and you know shit like that. So, but all right, I'll be uh, I'll be back with a uh, with a update at this point. God only knows. So I'm actually back with a lot quicker of an update than I thought. So we got the uh, passenger side off now, and the H pipes are completely off. So I was able to sit there, knock this shit out real quick, real fucking quick. Um. So yeah, I mean, took a little bit of finagling. It seems like the uh, a bit of the the old gasket is still on. Part of it started come tearing off with the uh, with the header. Um, so yeah, this shit needs a lot of cleaning going on. So um, yeah, so now I'm about to sit here and uh, you know just go back, um, look at some of the uh, the videos and stuff to see how they was able to finesse it and uh, work it in there and such. I probably might be able to get the passenger side on a lot easier than the uh, the driver's side so that's what i might do first and then uh work my way over to the driver's side and you know see what's going on so let's get it all right, all right so we got some progress um we got the uh driver's side header uh slightly on i just got one bolt bolted in the front and one half ass bolt done in the back so we got that in and uh looks like the smaller oil filter is coming in handy um so that was definitely a, a good tip and trick from uh uh one of the fox body guys that i um check into on youtube uh the clutch cable uh the bracket i had to just slightly bend back a little bit because it was literally like right up against the header like blocking its path and everything like there was just it was way too close I'm most likely going to need to probably put a heat cable, uh, heat wrap it, my fault, not put a heat cable, um, wrap it with the heat wrap probably later on, uh, so that was good to know, um, but over here, I'm having way too much issues, uh, putting the, uh, passenger header on, I don't know what is going on, I don't know if my brain is just having a brain fart, um, I don't know if I just, like, I don't, I, don't, I really don't know what's going on over here. So, um, I ended up taking off, um, this piece right here momentarily. Uh, it was teed off to a part, to an, uh, exhaust pipe, uh, exhaust line that was going into the H pipes. So I ended up taking that off, um, trying to create, you know, room and clearance. And, um, I'll go ahead and show you, uh, what's it looking like real quick obviously ac line is gonna be obviously out the way i think we all I think we all know that's a given right ac line out the way um could be this that's causing it could be this this is um runs to the heater core uh I don't I don't know look like I don't know if I, I either I don't know if I'm putting it in wrong that's why I'm saying I don't know if it's me or if it's just a, a clearance issue I'm not able to compute yet um I don't even know if I should do the fucking alternator relocation bracket yet to pull this shit in because I don't even know what's gonna end up happening with that because I know this shit is still sitting you know so it's like even if it's the, if this shit is sitting up right it's like, what, you know, what's going to really happen with this, you know? So, like, it's like it's coming down, but it's not passing. Um, fuck. Uh, is this the cam cover, head cover? I forgot what the fuck it's called. That's why, and then it's like, I see it's rubbing up against, you know, car and it's like i'm trying to and there's just so much space down there that's what's fucking confusing me and it's like yeah i was able to fully get the um coil uh the covers i go over the coil um spark plugs jesus the uh spark plug caps i was able to get them fully off and out the way out the area for more clearance all right, so 
So now, see, it's like, it's just like, you know what I'm saying? So it's like, I think it's definitely bumping into this line. Oh, shit. Well, it is bumping into the AC line right there. Well, duh. So, right? No, it's not hitting the, the plugs, the spark plugs. It's not hitting none of them. It's just like, it's just like, hey, yo, like, what the fuck is going on? And I'm over here banging this shit up on my fucking, my header, right? Yeah, like, I just can't, you know, I just can't, like, even if I do that, like, it just, you know, it's just not, it's not going in for your boy right now, so I'm trying to, and it's like, to me, this is, this is the most important side I really want to get on the mock-up because, you know, the turbo is going to be right there. I want to see how the, I just want to see how the turbo looks in here, you know? The turbo going to look nice. That's what I want to see, but, you know, the car got uh, different plans for your boy right now, so. And I've been out here faithfully all day, damn near, trying to get this shit going. Got the exhaust off. Made, made pretty good progress. Made really great progress. I can't even be mad. Headers off, exhaust off one header on for the mock-up um so i'm not totally i'm not 100 percent mad i'm not 100 percent upset i jammed my thumb but you know i'm just i'm just over here trying to figure this shit out so it's like i don't know if i need to like bring let me see something so we move that cable out the way. Let's see if that helped. Let's see, let's see, let's see, let's see. Let's make sure that. Okay. So that shit did absolutely fucking nada for your boy. Dude, I feel I, I I feel like this is I feel like this is me. I feel like I'm doing something extremely wrong. But at the same time, I don't. It's like what what in Mount Everest is going on? Cause it's like even if I try to bring it here and then twist, because it's like yo, at the end of the day, right? Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Let's check this out. Technically, this is 100% lined up, right, right about, right about here, right? This is 100% lined up, right about here, right? Eh, somewhat. Let's, let's see, like, right, right, uh, right there. All right, and it's just chilling all the way the fuck up here. If this shit was to bolt up, where in the fuck is this supposed to, like, is this piece supposed to dump, like, right there? Like, am I not supposed, am I supposed to be deleting some shit? Like, that's what I mean. I'm, like, hella confused, bruh. I'm so hella confused. Like, I'm gonna have to go back and just start. And it sucks because if I'm fucking watching videos, it's like they got their shit. Like, I don't know. I feel like this shit is different, man. This car is 100% stock. 100% stock. Like, nothing has been deleted. Anything has just been uh, changed. You know, hoses have been changed. You know, thermostat replaced. Changes and replaces. You know, harmonic balance are replaced. Water pump replaced. Thermostat replaced. Hoses replaced starter replaced you know gaskets and shit you know nothing has been deleted or modified in a in a crazy way at least in terms of this engine bay and the engine you know anything really on it i mean fuck look at the headers <sighs> look at the stock headers like this is like look at these bitches and i mean it looks like they were fucked wait a minute look like they were fucking banged in there though what the hell? I'm not bang yo, I'm not banging my I'm not banging up my brand new headers. Fuck out of here. 
This don't look too banged up now. This shit look bad. What the fuck did they do? I don't know what the fuck they do. Fuck, yo. You know what's crazy about this turbo install? This shit got me damn near trying to <laughs> redo this whole car. This shit gonna have me redoing this whole car and cleaning it up, bro. This shit is crazy. Tur turbo install slash restoration at this point. Upgrades and restorations. But uh, as of right now, man, we're gonna be at a standstill until I could get figure out what's going on with the passenger side and see what I'm doing wrong. Cause I already know it's me. I ain't gonna sit here and try to say that, oh, it's the the fitment of the, the header or whatever. Or, no, 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 no. I'm a, I'm still a rookie at most of this shit. So it's like, I, I ain't pointing no fingers besides at myself right now. I got, I don't got no way to sit there and try to point the finger at them in terms of what they did or whatever. It's me. And I just gotta, I just gotta figure it out. Cause if anything, to be honest, what I'm gonna probably end up doing. And also I'd say the, the, uh, another reason why I probably take a, a while in terms of doing shit is because I try to keep a organized and clean area at least. Like, especially with my tools, I always, you know, keep them organized and shit. Like, I put them right back every single time. So that's probably another reason why I take I take a little longer than others. But it's just, I don't want to say completely OCD, but it's just, it's just me. Something, you know, it's a new year. You know, you want to do shit uh, right. So I know over there we got all of the gaskets, clamps, hoses, plugs, shit that ain't needed yet. Um, can actually take the headers now off the table and add it to the to the scrap yard over here of all of the fox body shit. But um, so yeah, um, tomorrow, hopefully I'll go ahead and do some uh, cause I got. It's Friday. I'm gonna go play basketball tonight. Catch y'all tomorrow. The next day. Shit, here we are, day two with this shit, man. So, um, did a lot of research and looking and shit and realizing I could delete this air pump, this shit. This shit gotta go. And I gotta get a delete kit for where that's running into, into the back of the blocks and then the vacuum lines and shit for that. And then we can also get rid of this stuff over here because all it, and then this piece right here because it's all for the emissions and smog and shit like that. And we don't need it no more. So that's gonna open up a lot of space and free up a lot of shit. So uh, go ahead and get this turbo kit going and be able to start cleaning up and get better stuff. And I'll probably need to um, unhook this uh, line too and shit depending on how it goes. So that's what I'm gonna be doing today is just taking off all this shit today, tearing it down and uh, clean it up to make more space, you know, get rid of what we don't need. All right, guys, so we're back with an update. Um, got that uh, that uh, black off, which is uh, for the fumes and the gas, for the gas tank, uh, ended up getting this off, that vacuum source line that led to the exhaust and that leads to, that leads to here, to the back of the, um, the two ports on both back of the block. Um, ended up getting the throttle body off with the, um, the EGR or whatever for the smog and shit off. And um, yeah, so this is how we're looking right now. Um, I know now I'm gonna need to start getting, um, like buying some block off shit. Block off uh, shit going to the two ports in the back of the block. I'm gonna now have to take off um, the manifold, which I was, I low-key wanted to do anyway, but I was just, you know, fighting the urge to do it because um, then I'm going to need to block off um, uh, the airways going uh, to this shit. I'm going to have to block all uh, that shit off and then um, uh, clean up most of these lines and shit that, um, that aren't going to be needed anymore like like these. Like this, this shit broke on its own. It's that old and brittle. You know, all, all this shit mainly broke on its own, so I could just sit here and finish the job and uh, snip the shit off. And I think I gotta take this off too. I think that's all part of it too. I think that's next. Uh, this cable was the one that ran into the box for the um, to circulate the gas fumes and shit. Um, I think I could just probably like, like 
roll it up and tape it up and tuck it away somewhere. But this is where we're looking at right now. I'm probably gonna take the um, uh, manifold off um, just to open up space and shit so I could do the um, the block offs now. Um, I might try to, I think I might go ahead and do the, uh, the test fitting now though for the, um, for this side of the manifold for the turbo kit though in the meantime just to see how we looking um so i'm probably gonna do that right now just to see where we at before i deep dive into more of this taking shit off and cleaning up and you know figuring out now i gotta you know do shit all right just checking in we got the uh manifold off um and uh it's gonna Allow me to go ahead and clean up and go ahead and get rid of um, them lines and then now obviously open up to where now I got to go ahead and start looking for to start plugging the hoses. Um, go ahead and plug the two shits in the back of the block. I tried um, uh, putting this side of the header on and uh, yeah, this AC line, excuse me, this AC line, this shit's got to go, bro. We gotta take it off in order to put this shit on but it's fine though because now open ups i got you know now i got shit to do shit to clean up shit to look at shit to get rid of that I don't need and uh just get to organize and fix now so that's pretty much maybe what i'm gonna be worrying about now it's just pretty much setting setting now things up uh for shit going on um i still got the uh, driver's side header on chilling. I'm gonna leave it there for uh, obviously the mock up purposes. And then um, I had to fuck around and cut this hose line off. I'll probably take it off the fucking the tree and shit. And now I gotta I'm gonna go ahead and take chop this shit off. I'll probably put another screw to hold this shit up. Now I'm just honestly now it's just the real cleaning part of the process of this shit now it went from turning into an install of a turbo kit into something that was bro this 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 is fun this shit is crazy i didn't even think this shit would happen but hey man it is what it is right so i'm gonna go ahead and get through with this um may or may not give an update later i don't know depending on whatever happens so yeah man uh, see where we go from here all right i think i'm coming in with the uh i think the last update for the day um uh, maybe maybe not i uh, was able to go to AutoZone. we got the uh the caps to uh block off and i just did one uh back there let me see if i can go ahead and see yeah a lot of coolant came out i don't know if you can see it right there the low cap right there because uh, obviously it's still coolant in the system um so it started like pouring out like a fountain i was able to cap it off pretty quick um and yeah so that's pretty much it for in terms of um for the heater with the uh the air pump um i believe it's part of the egr um the emissions um airflow shit I gotta take off this now on the back and then I gotta order the um the delete bolts that screw into the back and then also gotta I don't know if it's for this plug. I don't know, I don't think it's that plug, I think it's this plug right. Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? I think it's this one right here. I gotta buy the um the delete sensor for and plug it in. Um and then yeah, uh then I'll just go ahead and get to the cleaning and shit. Was able to go ahead and tuck most of these wires. Um, got them up under here. I'll go ahead and you know roll them up, tape them, tuck them away. Uh, I won't snip them or 100% get rid of them, just in case for the future. Um, then I'm gonna have to uh, remove this AC line that runs this uh, this bottom one because uh, yeah the manifold. I mean the. Um, the header, fuck, I keep getting it too mixed up. The uh, header keeps banging into it, and it's uh, causing a little bit of uh, issues and problems. But I think we made pretty good progress for today in terms of, you know, getting shit done. I just gotta make sure I get the delete stuff so that, you know, 
I could, um, you know, probably put stuff back. I don't think I'm gonna put the uh, the uh, manifold back on in the anytime soon in the near future. I think I'm gonna leave it like this just so that, um, you know, in case more things need to get cleaned up and changed and fixed and, you know, brand new and all that, I have more space and stuff. So we'll go ahead and work with it like that. Um, I know the fuel is gonna need to get upgraded. So, I mean, I don't know. I just, I wanna go ahead and make sure that any anything else that I necessarily don't need in terms of hoses, wires, sensors, plugs, the whole nine um, gets taken off, blocked off, um, and all that stuff. Um, and then just like try to really start like cleaning up and shit, try to get all the dirt and grime. I know I keep saying it, I'm like a broken record, but like especially that shit over there, it's like it's it's such a such a progress, but it's progress, but we're making progress. It's a lot of work, but we're getting shit done. So I'm um, definitely gonna have fun trying to take this shit off from the back. Try to figure out how I could uh, probably look up how to go ahead and go about that with the engine still in the car. Um, you know, it's a lot easier when you got it out of the car. I know it's gonna need new spark plugs. Um, definitely gotta go ahead and change those soon. I gotta make sure I get that uh, the header gasket off and then just go ahead and you know, do what we gotta do. Um, I know I'm probably, I, I should upgrade the throttle body. I don't know. I couldn't, I didn't know how to 100% take it off. So I just left it like this. Um, I'm probably gonna need to get a spacer now um, to go ahead and get rid of the, um, the stock one unless I decide to put it back on with new bolts and shit and just uh, block off the um, the uh, vacuum hose, the vacuum line, the hose, valve, whatever shits. And uh, yeah, so I'm gonna go ahead and try to start getting most of this shit cleaned up and looking right and probably try to find a way to take off this AC line right now before I go ahead and try to call it a day. So, all right, it's probably gonna be it for today. I'll go ahead and include yesterday and today's video all in the one. Try to make it as you know, small as, short and as small as possible. So, all right, y'all, catch you on the next one.